Hello. Hello. What is your name? I'm Renee Molyneux. I live in the Pine Hills neighborhood here around St. Rose. Mm -hmm. I'm a member of the Pine Hills Neighborhood Association, though I don't think that really matters. <laughs> what is your occupation? I work at another college, Siena College. I'm an IT guy. I am, I'm an instructional technologist. I work with faculty and staff there developing um, ways that they can use technology in their courses. I also give training seminars to faculty, staff, and students. But I've lived in this neighborhood for 50 years. Um, not my whole life, but a good deal of it. I grew up in here, in this neighborhood. Where did you grow up? In this neighborhood, right over on Lake Avenue. Lake Avenue. I live on Partridge Street right now. now how long have you lived in Partridge Street? About 27 years. 27 years. Um, yep, I got married in 83, and that's when my wife and I moved into the house. That's exciting. That's exciting. Um, did you go to school in the area at all? or? Yes. Um, grade school and high school right in this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. the, the old Vincentian schools. The grade school is now part of St. Rose. It's the music building. Oh, and, um, okay. And uh, some other buildings are now parking lots over there. <laughs> and then the high school, Vincentian Institute High School, is down Madison Avenue, down the corner of Madison and Ontario. That was a high school building. Oh, mm -hmm. I know that place. Yeah. For college, I went to college down in New York City and stayed down there for nine years. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm very involved in St. Vincent's Church. Mm -hmm. And uh, St. Rose uses that church also. We have a kind of a partnership there. But I've been involved in that parish for my whole life, really. Got married in that church, baptized in that church. <laughs> And then I've been on the parish council, very involved. I used to be involved in a Boy Scout troop here. Mm. Went to school in the neighborhood. I think I said that. I went to yeah. the school in the building that St. Rose yeah. uses now. Mm -hmm. um, were you ever um, like any sort of business or a partner in any sort of business in the Pine Hills area? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Actually, um, well, I went away to college in New York. I wound up being away for about nine years. Mm -hmm. But the reason I came back was because my dad retired, wanted something else to do wanted to bring me back, so he um, had the idea to start a small business in the neighborhood, which we did, over on Quail Street, mm -hmm. corner of Quail and Yates. And so that went on for about six years, didn't really make a lot of money. I was getting married, having kids, started, needed a steady source of income and health insurance, mm -hmm. so I closed the business and started working for other people. Mm -hmm. So I, I did start a business in the neighborhood and was I felt very supported by the neighborhood. Oh, that's mm -hmm. wonderful. Do you think um, other businesses that have established since then feel that same sort of... I would guess that they do, sure. Sure, yeah. especially the Muddy Cup and the Madison oh. Theater. Probably CVS. <laughs> that's a huge chain store, though, but, yeah. but they probably do feel support. Um, Hopefully the Steamer 10 Theater, which is in the old fire station. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I know about that. Um, yeah, I would think so. I mean, businesses come and go. Well, I wanted to say thank you so much for this interview, and mm -hmm. thank you so much for answering my questions. All right. You're welcome. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. Let's get the door up here.